Soul Frame new gameplay demo at Tinocon. What the fuck is Tinocon? Uh, either way, this is a new game. I remember the first uh, gameplay of this actually did not look particularly great. So I'm kind of, and this is what's the uh, the time travel shit, right, or something like that. Like, uh, I, and so, and so I'm 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 ready to be uh, impressed. Here we go. It's Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer. By Odin Rain, this beast we claim. Is this the start screen? Cool. Dreams, their meaning like a river curving beyond sight. Yes, that is a good title. Turn it up, Dean. This is this is uh, point level for ants. Looks good. Sort of from Sinecure, mercenaries of the sign not above. If there exists okay, a soulless creature, one need only look skyward. Okay. All right, here's the combat. Let's see it. Very cool. I like that a lot. That's fucking awesome. Oh, you can pull it back. Okay. Okay. Oh, he's got a two-handed sword, so you know he takes more damage. Okay, so you can stun him. That was easy. I can't wait to play this game without using any of the spells. We waited to get that out for days. You were looking for that monstered up stagger, I bet. Oh, nothing really. Just how it lives in a secrecy glade hidden by ancient magics and Ooh. how to find said secrecy glade and disenchant said ancient magic. It's a, a few drags and I'm an open scroll. Okay, big legs. I get it. Your problem is from the ground, the glades are Leave. I don't know for Sprout that. folk live headless for years. In my treatise, Capricious Crops, I surmise their thoughts. Ah, well, if the pensives had any sense, they'd have published it. So you've got Rasputin talking to you? So this is like, uh, kind of like our Lisette, isn't it? Uh, this is the Nightfold, and it's on the Silver Sea, which is the uh, lake of our ancestors. So as we play the game and adventure through the Isle of Midrath, we will find uh, the souls of our legendary ancestors and bring them here and build a village. So we'll just real quickly talk about over the UI a bit, Joey. And so it's like Animal Crossing. And I'll shut up for the rest. We are making uh, more of a role-playing game this time. So uh, it is based on the, the three virtues of courage, spirit, and grace. Uh, and these will be your way of customizing your envoy to your liking and your play style. Okay, I'm gonna skip ahead. This is cute. Envoy of souls. Every uh, location in the game has a, kind of these wandering souls. I don't give a fuck about the UI. 
constitute. Want to see the game? Uh, I guess you could say like a fourth spell slot. Let's get the so killing. We'll shit. see how that works uh, in a moment. Let's get the warp. All right. Cool. So you're going into like a catacomb. All right. A relic of pre-Odin wars. The Fire King, Fenjodar, built this place. The under city of Dermak. Cool. This looks really nice. The old traps, sharp as ever. Okay, we got somebody right there. Come on. I like that a lot. That's really cool. Okay. Good teamwork. What's in the box? Can you jump? Assassinate? Yep. Cool. That looks nice. Oh, that one has red armor. I bet he has more health. Never mind. He's dead. Synod's collector is dispatched. Scour every yard of that tomb and prepare for him a tribute. Histories must burn, or more grooves will come. Oh, he has a Sekiro arm, too. I see that. Okay, cool. Alright, let's see some actual combat. Let's go. Combat doesn't really look that good, to be honest. Okay, now let's see an actual, like, actual combat. All right, here we go. With, like, an NPC that you fight, have to fight for more than, like, one second. Okay. Never mind. Hold an Indiana Jones on him. All right. Skip ahead a bit. The cats are everywhere, huh? Falls heavy here. Yeah. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go. My mother's race. Okay. Okay. Alright. Alright, alright. Now we're now we're cooking. There's gruel among you. Synod will have me sky wield if his tribute is lightened. Right. Find the gruel and send them back to the fires of Ka. Maybe a boss. Yeah, maybe we get to like a boss or something. Let me see what this is coming up. Boss is at the end. I already watched. Okay, cool. I'll skip to that in a couple of minutes. Too 
feel the flames of mortar too. Her arms entwine in surfing blue. But I cannot. Fascinating. The soul severed, separate, and new. Now to find the aforementioned secret glade. All right, it's him on a mount, apparently. Yes. Let's get bad. Damn. That was pretty cool. I'll admit. Yeah, all right. That was cool. It's like a big doll. All right, cool. It's like if there was a horse, but it was a dog. Okay, this is cool. Sure. So there's a giant space meteor coming down from the sky. This seems... The collector has landed. Make your seems preparations. Seems ominous. Okay, do you have mounted combat? What can you do on the mount? Running around? I mean, look. Uh, let's look at the visuals here, guys. I think the visuals look great. The visuals definitely pass the vibe check. In my opinion. Twitch bit right? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, if you actually watch the video, you know it's really good. Okay, what's this? Is this like a boss? This looks like a mini boss. Maybe. Start hitting it. Maybe you have to throw a rock at it. Oh, I remember. Yeah, Ocarina of Time. You have to play the Song of Time in order to unlock the new, uh, dungeon. Okay. Skip ahead. Environment, as I said, looks great. The fabled glades of Anderin. But where are the poison trees? The shimmering pictics? Have the old engines made it even here? play this when it comes out but like it doesn't really look that good I'm gonna be honest like it just really doesn't combat doesn't look very dynamic it looks really um uh, what's the word for it it looks very like stilted Stiff, yeah. simple Okay. All right. 
right. Cave looks really nice. Just walk up on that guy, stab him. Ooh. Oh, that was cool. That was definitely cool. Huh? What's this? Is this the deer god? Oh my god. Face the deers at each other, right? Oh, wow. Oh, each of the different ones tells you to do something else. I get it. You have foreseen what oh, lies Oh, speak friend beyond. and enter. I've seen this. We might need to stay here to, to document these invaluable histories. Okay. Skip ahead. Okay, all right, here we go. You seek a pact with these wretched beasts. All right, beasts. all right, all right, all right, all right. Fine. Let your fates Finally. be intertwined. <laughs> Just throw the sword at her again. That seemed to work last time. Didn't even hit him. How does that hit him? What? how the tar pit affects her. I think that's good design. That's really interesting. This is pre-alpha gameplay? Well, yeah, I'm giving my opinion on it as pre-alpha gameplay. I know the game isn't out yet. I'm saying at the current time, the gameplay feels very stiff. It feels very slow. It feels like the challenge in this encounter is, at least so far, not about really the a player's dexterity or skill at the game. It's about their ability to navigate a very stiff control system and maneuver in the correct way. Uh, I think the hitboxes look very bad. Uh, the like uh, the impact that like the player has whenever they deal damage to an enemy doesn't feel particularly good. I think that was more evident even with the smaller NPCs. Like this is my feedback for the game. It's called Methodical Combat. No, Dark Souls 1 is called Methodical Combat. This is called Not Good Enough. Try again. seems pretty good. I'm glad he's actually moving around now. Not a fan of these hitboxes? Well, yeah, because they're bad.
Okay. I think that the the context is that the little girl, whenever uh, he played the song at the other thing, is actually her. So him playing that song does some sort of um, uh, emotional damage to her. And now we have the deer phase, which is the second phase. I think that's what happened. I think that's that's the the dynamic that's going on here. Okay, all right, all right, now we got a real boss. Let's go. I've seen that before. Looks like one of those games that like people that are like really big fans of like Dark Souls, they're like this is like made by a development studio of like four people or three people or something like that, you know? Yeah. What look at home? I mean no that I mean this is Fallen Star Beast. It's the same animation. Really. To be fair, it doesn't do that. I mean, it's not like that, you know, opening the pincers and charging is really that innovative, right? I'm just saying, like, it's kind of the same thing. Okay, so, like, what happens now? Is he, like, staggered? Oh, it's a, is this the second phase? Fuck. Yeah, I guess it does kind of hit him. Uh, but, like, not really, you know? Like, he's kind of underneath the, the neck of the... It went right through? Yeah.
If you want me to be honest, I think that if you want to go with a more mystical feel like this game's supposed to have, I think that it could use a little bit more subtlety. I understand what they're trying to do, but like, I just don't really see this like... I, 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 I just don't think it really hits. I think it could, but it just doesn't. And I think one of the reasons is the music. I think the music is too overpowering and just like the cinematic and, and everything like it's just it, it's not that good like uh, yeah it doesn't feel organic I just feel like they they like the concept is relatively good if you look at like what is the core concept you're like doing this like weird time travel thing and like uh, I, I don't know exactly like what this is is it like uh you know like trying to like bring them back from some sort of corruption by like making them uh relive their past self or something like this right like kind of like an exorcism or something like this that that's kind of like the vibe that, that it's having a like, purification yeah i just feel like the like the framing I think that music, I, I think, is probably the most important thing. And if you don't have the right music for uh, a, an event like this, and also, like, the framing... Well, what I mean by the framing is, like, imagine if... I, I don't know if this would really make sense, right? But, like, if at the very end of the cinematic, um, it had the guy, uh, and he, like, stabs the fucking sword through the, through the, the deer's head... And then inside of, like, the pool of blood, it turns into water, and the sword from, like, his hand is just his hand on the deer's head. Like, it would feel a lot more meaningful with, like, more subdued music. Like, something like this would be, I think, cleaner. Right? Rather than just having, like, a complete phase transition. Because I think that, like, dramatic phase transitions like this are generally not very good. Because it... it it causes you to see what what it causes you to spot the ways that it's inaccurate and that's why i think like final fantasy 14 for example like blacks out or whites out the screen every single time to do a phase transition is so you can't see that happen Yes, I 
and Garen Brood. Stag of the Angelin Glades, Omen Ward of the Dendred Herds. Envoy, I offer you the grace of my crown. Oh, uh, so much better than whenever they first showed it off. Looks incredible so far. I see the inspiration from Studio Ghibli films. Reminds me of Princess Mononoke and Spirited Away. Yeah, I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. Everybody else is very positive about it. I don't think this looked very impressive at all. I think that they didn't nail the mysticism theme, and I think the biggest reason for that is the music. I think the combat was really boring and not very interesting. It was stiff, stilted, and it felt very just bad. Um... I think the visuals for the game are incredible, or amazing. I think the cinematics weren't really that great either. I think that if you want to have a game that tells a story of like purification, redemption, and mysticism, you should go with a show don't tell perspective. And I don't think that they did that enough. But I do feel like the biggest detractor was the music. Yeah, you need more subtlety if you want to do that. Maybe it's just not for you. Maybe it's not. I'll probably play this when it comes out regardless, right? But uh, that's kind of the way that I feel about it. Music was good, yes, but not he it's heavy all the time. I think the best example of music that... So... Um... Obviously, the best example is, like, Lord of the Rings, right? Like, that that's thats the gold standard. Like, meeting Midgard Salmer, I thought was really good. Bloodborne, b meeting Ludwig. Yes, but it's, it, I mean, that that's, like, horror, right? But, like, yeah, meeting Ludwig is, like, probably a great example of that. And, uh, uh, Lady Maria's Clock Tower. Halo 3 Warthog run, yep, at the very end. I'm trying to think of, like, more mystic, mystical, like, uh, examples of this. I haven't really played a lot of games like this, so I don't, I don't really have a lot of games that I can go off of. Yeah, or in Blind Force, yeah, I, I didn't play that. Yeah, there's so many of these games I haven't really played. But I just feel like it wasn't really... It, it, like it just wasn't done in a, in a way that I felt was inspired if that makes sense hard disagree I'm glad that you liked it I'll link you guys the video yeah I just didn't think it was that great I'm sure that a lot of people liked it but I think that uh, and, and I'm sure they worked really hard on it and it's not out yet so it has a lot of time to improve but like I just don't think the cinematics really hit I just don't think so.